The might of the U.S. Navy is beyond any doubt. Other countries simply cannot afford to spend so much on the military industry. Almost any piece of equipment they have is the best in its class. In today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at the equipment on these vessels and try to work out exactly why they dominate the world's oceans. Perhaps we'll start off in a somewhat unconventional style, since the first in the list of American weapons will be from an Italian manufacturer. Namely, the brainchild of OTO Malara, the OTO Malara 76mm gun. This was a naval gun based on the OTO Malara 7662C system and modified to the 7662SR and 7662 Strails types. The compact dimensions of this setup allow it to arm relatively small ships, placing them in inconspicuous turrets. Another advantage to the system is its rate of fire, as well as its ability to use several types of ammunition. OTO Malara can be used in both short-range point missile defense, anti-aircraft, and ground support. No wonder this gun is operated by naval forces in 60 countries around the world. There are several modifications to this system. The original version is 76mm, 62 compact with a rate of fire of 85 rounds per minute. In 76mm, 62 super rapid, the projectile feed system was improved and a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute was achieved. The Strails system is an improved version of the Super Rapid for missile defense with dark rounds. The system is capable of withstanding multiple subsonic missiles at a distance of up to 5 miles. It's also used against surface targets. Sovera Pont is approximately 30-40% lighter than the standard Super Rapid and doesn't require penetration into the lower deck to install. Projectiles used High Explosive Multi-Role OTO Munition, PFF, Sap Bomb, Darts, and Volcano. Next on the list is a development from the American aircraft manufacturer McDonnell Douglas. Manufactured by Alliance Tech Systems Mark 38 M242 Bushmaster. This is a single-barreled automatic ship installation based on a 25mm gun. Used for a ship's close defense against patrol boats, pirate boats, floating mines, and small coastal objects, its range goes up to 9,800 feet depending on the type of ammunition used. The system consists of an M242 chain gun and a Mark 88 Mod Zero machine gun mount. Shots can be fired in semi-automatic and automatic modes. The gun's standard rate of fire is 200 rounds per minute. The small Mark 38 can quickly be installed on any vessel. The weight of the entire setup is only 1250 pounds, and the guns come in at 262. Speaking of big guns, the American Anti-Aircraft Artillery System Mark 15 Phalanx CIWS, the most common system in its class, is also worth remembering. Like the Mark 38 Phalanx, it's designed to protect ships. The complex is capable of hitting any air and surface targets within a radius of several miles. It's often called the Vulcan Phalanx, and the US military nicknamed it R2-D2. In fact, the system looks a lot like the robot from the Star Wars saga. This is a 20mm rapid-fire six-barreled cannon with a rotating block of barrels. It's installed on a single carriage with two radar stations for target detection and tracking. Also included is a rack with electronic units and a remote control. The mass of this gun totals 6.6 .6 US tons. The main advantage to the Phalanx is the Mark 149 projectile with a depleted uranium core. It not only has high speed, but also, when striking the target, causes a powerful release of thermal energy and instantaneous detonation of the warhead in the anti-ship missile. The horizontal guidance speed of the installation reaches 115 degrees per second, and the length of a continuous burst can reach up to 1,000 shots. The popularity of this complex speaks for itself. Ships of 23 different countries are all armed with the Phalanx. By the way, there's a ground version too. The Centurion Sea Ram Counter Rocket Artillery Mortar. As for modern anti aircraft missiles, the US Army has a whole family of standard missile SM2 in its arsenal. The missiles are equipped with a combined guidance system. In this case, the target is tracked by a general detection radar that transmits corrections to the location, and the target illumination radar turns on only for a couple of seconds at the final stage of the route. Missile speed 3610 FPS, maximum range 104 miles, effective range from 2 to 50 miles, altitude from 490 feet to 12.3 miles. 
The mass of that munition is 1558 pounds. The weight of the high explosive fragmentation unit is 253.3 pounds. And the wingspan is 5.25 feet. There are many modifications within this family. From the basic RIM-66 standard to RIM-156B with a new radar infrared guidance system. The development of the SM-2 was the RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 rocket. The projectile was designed to destroy air targets and even handle ballistic missiles and warheads at atmospheric altitudes. It was intended for installation both on cruisers and destroyers, and as a ground installation. The kinetic warhead has its own engine, and guidance is carried out automatically using a high-resolution infrared homing matrix. Just like the SM-2, the missile has been modified several times. The basic version, RIM-161A, was used to work out the whole concept. Further down the road, the RIM-161B was launched into mass production. The missile was distinguished by a reduced cost, and it was also equipped with the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense 3.6.1 system. RIM-161C received a modified third-stage engine and Aegis BMD 4.0.1 with a dual-band infrared homing head. The RIM-161D missile, in fact, is not just an improved version of the SM-2, but a completely new projectile with a larger diameter, longer range, and higher speed. SM-3 Block 2A received a new oversized kinetic interceptor and sensor equipment. The missile has a higher ability to discriminate against decoys. Another modification of the SM Block 2B has an increased ability to destroy intercontinental ballistic missiles. The US is, of course, not only modernizing existing weapons, but also creating new ones. For example, Boeing has already demonstrated the capabilities of its compact laser weapon system. This complex was designed to destroy drones. The setup takes only 15 minutes to deploy and can be managed by a single operator. The impact of the laser beam on its target for a period of 10 seconds will completely disable it. At the same time, it's impossible to determine where exactly this hit came from. It would appear that the economy of the CLWS system plays a rather important role. In fact, during the first demonstration, the company used a 2 kilowatt fiber laser. Boeing is currently working with General Atomics, Electromagnetic Systems, GA, EMS, on a 100 kilowatt class scalable to 250 kilowatts. For comparison, in the fleet, one shot from the very common Sidewinder missile costs anywhere from $15,000 to $475,000, while a single laser pulse amounts to merely a dollar. Another interesting development was the multi-mission medium-range railgun weapon system from BAE Systems. Its principle of operation is quite simple. The projectile accelerates along two contact rails, gradually increasing speed. The rig uses kinetic projectiles weighing just over 35 pounds. When the ammunition hits the target at high speed, the kinetic energy is converted into heat. Unfortunately, the project is currently on hold and the Navy's budget request doesn't include a railgun, but its latest figures are still impressive. 4474 miles per hour, and the muzzle energy of the gun is 32 megajoules. Perhaps the high speed, striking ability, ultra high range of MMRRWS, and, most importantly, the reduced risk of an explosion on a ship along with the cheap cost of shells, will all play their role, and the railgun will receive new life in the military. Another source of pride for the United States military is definitely the Mark 48 heavyweight torpedo. The Mark 48 is a versatile, long-range, remote-controlled torpedo. The projectile is designed to destroy underwater targets moving at a speed of 35 knots. Like most effective weapons, the torpedo also received some improvements. The Mark 48 Mod Zero was equipped with a gas turbine engine and was subsequently upgraded to the Mark 48 Mod 2 standard, capable of hitting surface targets. Mod 1 was equipped with a single-channel telecontrol system and could dive to a depth of 2,500 feet. Mod 3 has the same diving depth, but is equipped with a two-channel remote control system. This allowed the munition homing head to transmit its target data to the carrier ship for a more accurate torpedo guidance route to the target. The speed of Mod 1 and 3 hit 48 knots and the range goes out to 20 miles. The Mod 4 unit received a speed increase out to 55 knots, a diving depth of up to 3,000 feet, and a shorter range of 17.7 miles. 
Also, the rocket received an additional fire and forget function. The Mod 5 is 19 feet long and 21 inches in diameter, weighing 3695 pounds, with a high explosive weight of 650 pounds. The speed of the torpedo was increased to 60 knots with a range of 23.75 miles. There will also be new members added to the family of American multi-purpose high-precision subsonic Tomahawk cruise torpedoes. Replenishment with all-weather missiles under the general designation Block 5 is already expected. Modernization is being carried out by Raytheon Corporation in two different versions. Under the Block VA Index, designation RGM-109E, UGM-109E, and with the Block VB Index, designation RGM-109M, UGM-109M. Block VA is an upgrade to the Block 4 Maritime Strike Tomahawk MST variant. The missiles will receive a new multi-channel guidance system in order to hit surface targets. The characteristics of the guidance head were not disclosed, but it can be assumed that this is a combination of active and passive radar and thermal imaging homing channels, as well as a setup with a more powerful data processor and a new inertial guidance unit. Block VB will retain the main purpose, eliminating ground targets. At the same time, they will be equipped with a new penetrating warhead joint multiple effects warhead system, JMEWS. JMEWS combines a shaped charge with a penetrating warhead. Thanks to a programmable single-purpose fuse, either an air or ground detonation of the warhead can occur. Additionally, the Block 5 will be equipped with a new integrated single-box solution and an anti-jamming GR5 GPS receiver. There are also plans to develop a supersonic version with a ramjet engine and increased speed to Mach 3. And for the last part, we've saved the UGM-133A Trident II D5 4th Generation 3-Stage Ballistic Missile. This missile is designed to be launched from nuclear submarine missile carriers. Its high accuracy allows one to hit small, well-defended targets such as bunkers and ballistic missile silos at a distance of approximately 7,500 miles at speeds up to Mach 24, although the exact distance is currently classified. Arranged in tandem, all three stages are equipped with solid rocket motors. The split warhead with individual targeting units is equipped with thermonuclear charges with a capacity of 475 and 100 kilotons. The projectile's overall length is 532.7 inches. The second and third stages are interconnected by a transition compartment. The nose stage is closed by a fairing and a nose cap with a retractable telescopic aerodynamic needle. The Trident's maximum launch weight is 130,244 pounds. The cost of a single unit is 30.9 million US dollars. A total of 14 Ohio-class submarines carry 24 missiles each. As you can see, the United States rightfully bears the title as a military superpower. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.